so that each one of us see the world differently, right? Based on how I grew up or based on my education, my environment, my life experiences, I have a different ideas, different beliefs, different opinions, and different way of seeing the world, which is different than other people, right? And when we get into the communication with other people, the other person is also bringing a completely different perspective and point of view of seeing the reality. They have their own beliefs, their own ideas, their own opinions, right? And when we are in the conversation, what happens is we have a personal pool of meaning, each one of us, and then we can also, we also create the shared pool of meaning, right? Where we are putting our ideas, uh, our personal ideas into that shared pool of meaning. And that way that shared pool of meaning becomes more richer and better in terms of taking the decisions, right? So then we can take even more informed and better quality decisions, right? Theoretically. <laughs> but in reality, what happens uh, when we are in the communication with other people or when we are in the group communicating, uh, ideally, the choices that a group makes should be more uh, higher quality as compared to the choices I make, right? Uh, mathematically, right? Because I have a certain perspective which is not complete and other people are bringing their perspective and that way we can see the reality more clearly and take a better decision, right? That is what's supposed to be happening. In reality, that doesn't happen, right? In reality, what happens is uh, there's a shared pool of meaning where everybody's supposed to put their idea and there are some people who will try to throttle or try to, you know, uh, push their ideas into that shared pool of meaning. And if somebody disagrees, they become defensive and then they are going to even attack that person or judge that person mm -hmm. more, right? So what happens is in that shared pool of meaning, some, are, some people just keep throttling that shared pool of meaning, keep, uh, you know, pushing their ideas into that shared pool of meaning. Some people just stay silent and defensive uh, because, it's, it's, you know, if they give some ideas, they, did, they don't feel comfortable that... Uh, putting their personal meaning into that shared pool of meaning, right? Because it's very, very easily can get attacked and all that. So, ideally, it, it, it should be very beautiful. It, it should be very synergistic. In reality, what happens is it becomes more shallower, right? It becomes more shallower, more defensive, and it, it it's uh, very unproductive. It can become very unproductive. There is, in fact, a saying that, collect, that um, individually smart people can do collectively stupid things, right? And that is also very true, that that shared pool of meaning which needs to have everybody's ideas um, and has to have that synergy uh, becomes very shallow and become very defensive, right? Okay, so what can we do about it, right? So what can we, um, how can we make it more productive? How can we make it more richer, right? Let's say there are multiple people who are in the meeting and we are discussing about the topic and each one of us is trying to uh, provide our point of view. So some companies are very good with this. They have built it into their culture. One of the companies, IDEO, right? That company who uh, designed many of the things that we use every day, including things like mouse, uh, they have built it into their culture, right? So what they do is, in, uh, I think they mastered this thing called design sprint. Uh, so in the, in the first round of their meeting, they will only pull the ideas from everybody else and they will put it in the sticky notes or something like that, right? So whole idea was there's absolutely no judgment is allowed in that book, in that um, in that particular um, uh, meeting, right? And the idea was just to bring all the different varieties of ideas or different perspective on that particular problem, right? And that's beautiful. So some some companies and some 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 companies are very proactive about building that sort of culture. Some companies are hiring very diverse and kind of, uh, you know, different nationality and putting them together in a team so that they can have a different perspective on the same problem, right? Uh, but if, done it, if, if it is not done right, and most often it is not done right, uh, then we end up creating this shared pool of meaning, which is not only shallow, but also very counterproductive, uh, where people are not, uh, you know, able to put their different perspective. So it, it's like a waste then. Okay. So what we can do about it? How can we... Uh, create that shared pool of meaning more richer, right? And of course, for that, we need to create an environment where everybody feels comfortable, first of all, putting their ideas. And when people are um, giving or throttling the shared pool of meaning by their personal pool of meaning, uh, then we need a way to give them feedback that this is what is happening, right? And it's not very easy to do. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we need to do. And it's, it's the, the thing is, and the very important thing to understand here is that when somebody, why we do that? Why we try to 
to throttle this shared pool of meaning with a personal pool of meaning. And why is, if somebody gives me a feedback uh, that maybe I'm doing something like this, I feel like I'm attacked instead of taking that feedback, right? Uh, because we have such a strong attachment to our personal pool of meaning. In fact, Buddha was saying that, that one of our deepest attachment is this attachment to our perspective, this attachment to our point of view. So it's not very easy for us to, you know, uh, somebody being disagreeing with our perspective. It feels, it almost feels like an attack of, on ourselves, on our identity, right? Um, so it's not so easy to give that feedback. Like if somebody, if there's a shared pool of meaning and somebody is, you know, trying to put their ideas and trying to force their ideas in that shared pool of meaning, uh, giving that feedback to that person is not going to be that easy. First of all, not people, not many people are going to do that because it's just uncomfortable <laughs> altogether, right? Uh, but if somebody uh, tried to give the feedback to the person that, okay, you are not doing it, you know, you are throttling this pool of shared meaning, there are very good chances that other person is going to make the enemy with that person, right? Instead of taking that feedback, uh, normally the other person will, okay, let me show you what, how you are wrong. Something like that happens all the time, right? Uh, so it, it becomes even more counterproductive, right? First, the whole shared pool of meaning is not really becoming richer because the person is throttling that shared pool of meaning. And if somebody give the feedback to that person, that person is feeling like he's attacked, so he's even more aggressive now, right? So it's not a very easy situation to handle. And another way we handle it is like, you know, uh, this mute and salute kind of scenario. You just go with the flow. You don't put too much effort into that. And you just don't put your ideas into the shared pool of meaning. And you know, like there's nothing comes out of these meetings anyway. So you feel like that, right? And in that scenario, what happens is when person is not putting his idea into that shared pool of meaning, he doesn't feel committed, right? He doesn't feel uh, when the when the time of implementation comes, he is not excited about it. In fact, he's not feeling committed. He, he's trying to do as little work of, as possible. And even in some cases, he's trying to undercut the project, right? He, in fact, in some per He's wishing that the project is failing, the project that failed, right? Because he's not committed to that, because it's not his project, because his ideas wasn't heard of, right? Uh, so it, it has the another negative uh, effect when we are not sharing the, our ideas to that shared pool of meaning, right? And this book says there are certain kind of people, right? There are certain kind of people who are very good, first of all, to bring everybody's ideas into the, that shared pool of meaning. It, they create a very safe environment for everybody to share that pool of meaning. And when somebody is dominating that shared pool of meaning, even if that person is in the, in the person of, in the position of authority, uh, they are able to give that feedback in a way that doesn't feel like an attack to other person, right? There's, they're able to tell them that you are doing this uh, throttling of the shared pool of meaning, but they're saying in a way that, uh, uh, that doesn't feel a personal attack. Right? And it is easy for them to take that feedback. Right? I'm sure it is not going to happen 100% of time. There are certain people who are like extremely um, mature in a way that they won't take any feedback uh, non-personally. But, but these people are capable of giving the feedback in a way that is very easy for them to digest. Right? They, will make it, they will give the feedback in that way. Very delicate skill to have. Right? And the book goes in the great detail like what is happening behind the scene? How are they able to do such thing, right? How are they able to, you know, uh, be so honest and respectful at the same time, right? So we'll look at those, uh, uh, those models or we look at those uh, uh, skills in a great detail in upcoming videos. Um, but the point we want to see here is what is happening behind the scene is when a group of people are coming together or when two people are communicating, um, we are bringing, we are creating the shared pool of meaning and we are putting our personal, we are putting the ideas from our personal pool of meaning into that shared pool of meaning, right? And if the ideas flows uh, very naturally and nicely without any kind of uh, uh, judgment and all that, it creates a very beautiful synergistic environment and we are able to make a more informed and uh, proper decisions, uh, high quality decisions. And if it doesn't happen, then in that case, um, it's very, it can be very counterproductive, right? Not only our shared pool of meaning is more shallower, um, but it, it can also become very disharmonious for the teams. Yeah. And uh, I had a personal experience with this when I was working around six to seven years back in a project. We had a project and the project was uh, about uh, creating a mobile application and that 
in that project nobody knew what to do nobody has a technical know how everybody uh, nobody has done something like this before including our team lead right and the, the way the team lead handled that project was nothing less than disaster he wasn't really hearing anybody's opinion he was completely throttling the pool of you know shared meaning it was all his ideas and his ideas wasn't even really good also right any if any time anybody tries to bring any uh, particular ideas or any opinion uh, they, that person completely shoot down that idea right so he wasn't really taking anybody else's ideas in that share pool of meaning completely throttled by him and soon the morale of team became so bad we spent like few months in that and it was um, like nobody was doing anything and if you ask like why it is not done they will come up with some excuse and since you have no technical know how you have no way to you know counteract it and just uh, people were wasting time it was just like a very poor experience right nothing was getting done uh, and the client wasn't happy it's just like it it just it was a disaster right and after a few months eventually they changed the team lead and we bring a new team lead and this team lead was completely opposite of the what the other other team lead was his technical skill was the kind of the same he also didn't know what to do in terms of the technical know how but his uh, uh, skill in terms of building the shared pool of meaning was very different right he bring he asked everybody to bring you know their ideas and opinions um, into that shared pool of meaning and then because he was more experienced he was able to choose uh, he was able to give the reasoning behind like okay we are doing this because of that we are doing that because of that and everybody felt very you know uplifted by that everybody was feeling more committed to the project and eventually we were able to deliver the project in few months and uh, it was such a nice experience everybody came up with building better relationship with each other and all that right so it creates a tremendous in, you know difference when you are able to create a beautiful shared pool of meaning versus when you are you know not able to create a beautiful uh, you know create a disaster shared pool of meaning and this skill to able to give a feedback when another person is throttling a shared pool of meaning uh, with his own personal pool of meaning without making them feel personally attacked is a very delicate and very tremendous meaning right? very tremendously useful skill right and we'll look at that skill in a great detail in upcoming videos uh, on how we can have these sort of crucial conversations